Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'd like to show you one of the assessment tools I often use in my classes called the Jigsaw Puzzle. No great lesson is complete without some way of um, checking student understanding. Not only it is a great way for you and your students to see what they've learned, but you can also use the results to plan your future lessons. The jigsaw puzzle checks language comprehension. Uh, language comprehension has three components. Uh, vocabul vocabulary knowledge, background knowledge, and knowledge of text and sentence structures. So this game focuses on vocabulary knowledge and background knowledge. You can play this game um, as part of your routine to check how much they remember uh, from your last lesson or you can play this game at the end of the class to see um, how much information they were able to retain at the end of the class. Before I explain the game, I'd like to give a shout out to my patron Martina. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. You are the best. If you like what you see here, please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to turn the notifications on so you never ever miss a single upload. Oh yeah, one more thing. Please watch this video till the end because at the end there will be a one question quiz and the first person who answers it correctly uh, is going to receive uh, the jigsaw puzzle template. I'll just email it to you. Voila, enjoy the game and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. To play this game, you need to prepare a jigsaw puzzle template. There it is. Then you'd need to decide how many teams you want to have. I usually go with two teams, uh, team boys and team girls. If you are regular on my channel, then you know the reasons why I do it. But you can do it your way. You can have team A, team B, and you can have even more than two teams. You can have three teams, for example. Now, uh, in my example here, um, there are five groups or five cards uh, in each team because the master word, the word that they need to guess, uh, has five letters. So as you can see, we have five cards or five groups. Each group receives a puzzle. This is a puzzle. You need to come up with your own puzzles, of course. So each group receives a puzzle, the solution to which uh, makes a word. All the students in the group try to make a new word out of the first letters of the individual words they have found. As soon as the group words have been formed, they are written on the board. The first letters of all the group words give the solution to the whole puzzle if you read onwards from group 1 to 5. And the winning team is the team that has all six words, including the master word written on the board. Are you with me yet? I know it sounds confusing, but I'm going to give you examples and I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. So please don't run away, stay with me. So the next thing you want to do is to cut out a cart. Here's the cart and here's the envelope. So you need to Put the card in the envelope. For two teams, you need to have two sets of cards. And then you put each card in an envelope and label uh, it group one, group two, group three, and so on. What you see here is a set of cards for team boys. Okay, and now let's go through each card and take a look how these puzzles are solved. So, card number one or group number one. 
um, they need to find these words. So here we go. Boys have short and girls have long hair. The answer to this uh, puzzle is hair. A fruit that has thin red or green skin and crisp flesh is, of course, an apple. Black to white, girl to boy, yes to no. <laughs> it actually... It actually reminds me of a joke for some reason. You know, when a diplomat says no, um, he means maybe. When a diplomat says maybe, he means no. When a diplomat says no, he's not a diplomat. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why, why, why I remembered that. But anyways, let's, let, let's go on. A police officer whose job is to solve crimes is a detective and now we need to make a word from the first letters of these words so it's going to be hand h-a-n-n-d and this is what the students write on a piece of paper yeah so when they uh get a card from the envelope they look at the uh card and uh they just write down all these four words in this case group number two we can see with our eyes. The eighth month of the year is August. A very beautiful flower that is usually red, pink or yellow is rose. And the group word, part of the body, that's ear, E-A-R. Group number three, the king of all animals. It has a mane, it is a lion. Polar bears live there. They live in the Arctic. The first day of the week is Monday. A card for sending a message without an envelope. It has a photo on the side. It's a postcard. Well, <laughs> I think I'm old school and I'm a little bit old fashioned. I'm not sure if young people or students use postcards anymore, but it's something that I guess is good to know. Again, you can come up with your own sentences, with your own puzzles. It can be, you know, your thing. This is just an example. And the group word here is lamp. Group number four. What is the capital of the UK? London. A fruit and a color, orange. Your English teacher's name? Bell. And a very big animal with gray skin and a long nose is, of course, an elephant. The group word is love. <laughs> All right, group number five. A bird with a flat face and large eyes is an owl. Something birds build to leave their eggs in to develop is a nest. We eat it for breakfast. It comes from chickens. That's an egg. And the group word here is a number. When you give all these envelopes to the students, to the teams, they work together, right? And also, like, um, as I said, it depends on the number of the students. But for example, one group uh, can have two students, yeah? So two students or three students can work on the group card. While they work on the group card, do this on your blackboard. Write down what is the master word, divide it into two halves. Here we have team A and here we have team B. And then this is where they need to write the master word. And also they need to write all the group words here. So they need to work together as one team, you know. Uh, and they need to uh, <clears throat> put all the missing pieces together. When they are done, they need to run to the board and write down all six words, starting with group one word, which in our case is hand, group two word is ear, third word lamb, fourth word love, fifth word is one. And then the master words, uh, starts with the first letters of uh, group words. So in our case, it is hello. So the first team who can who do it fastest gets 
a point or gets a round of applause or something from you, you know? And also it's really up to them how they want to do it. Maybe they could have like a group captain, um, uh, someone who can coordinate between all the uh, team members, you know. So this is it. This is how you play this game. By the way, I wanted to make a puzzle using the word subscribe to kind of induce uh, the action, so to say. <laughs> but uh, the word subscribe has too many letters and they do not fit on one piece of paper, so I just uh, made it easy. But still, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> and are you ready for a question to get that uh, template? There are three types of assessment. One, diagnostic assessment. Two, formative assessment. Three, summative assessment. Question, which type of assessment is used in the jigsaw puzzle game? The first person who answers this question correctly is going to get the jigsaw puzzle template for free. I'm just gonna email it to you. And by the way, the jigsaw puzzle template is available to all my patrons. So if you become a patron, you're gonna get it uh, along with all other perks of being a patron. So please consider becoming a patron to support my channel and what I do. All right, I think this is it. I hope you enjoyed this game and I hope you're going to try it in your class. And if you do, let me know how it worked. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video.